Hey, hi, hello, and welcome back to K Digital Studio. We're hopping over in my studio today because we are filming another digital plan with me for the month of August. I think a symptom of turning 22 in a global pandemic means a permanent loss of the concept of time, because I swear it was March or something last week. I recently released a digital planner for business owners, and so that is what I will be planning in today, whereas my last several videos, I was using the Everything Planner. The new small business planner has hundreds and hundreds of templates for businesses and business owners, and I'll link a private invitation for you to see an entire flip through of this planner down in the description below if you have a business and would benefit from this digital planner. With one purchase, you get matching sticker sets, planner covers, a 2022 dated version, and an undated version of this planner. So I'm somewhat moved into the undated version. I still just have a few more things to plan. I'm flipping back to July so I can copy the numbers from the monthly page to paste them for August. I was just using the text feature in GoodNotes to add these numbers in, and I can link the font that I used in the description if you like it. I'm also changing the color of the text to white so it shows up really nice against this yellow color for August. I'm also copying and pasting this week's numbers from the previous month as well. And then just going in and adding a focus for the month. Through all of these plan with me sessions, I've discovered that I'm more of a big picture type person when it comes to planning for my business. And then when needed, I can just break it down further later. So it really helps for me to have one overall thing to focus on for the month and then one big focus for the week, one big focus for the day kind of thing. At the front of this planner, I've included hex codes and fonts. And what's really cool about this planner is I actually linked the color palette as a Procreate swatch file, which to me is just easier to copy and paste hex codes from and go off to the side and Procreate and create nice lettering or stickers and then just drag and drop those into my planner if I wanted to. I already have the hex codes for my pen colors in GoodNotes 5, but I wanted to go ahead and add those same colors for my highlighters too. Then for my monthly planning, bills and paydays and all of that stuff is usually what I add in first. And I am using the life and stickers bundle that is available in the shop. I still need to convert them all to elements, though I do have the matching business planner stickers already available as elements in my good notes though. So using a few of those as well to drop in my video upload days. I didn't show it on camera, but I did reference my quarterly planning page in this business planner to drop in a few other things into my monthly calendar for August. There are just a few things happening that I'm not able to share just yet, but be sure to follow me over on Instagram because that's where news will be shared first. What I like about the business planner is the added little monthly hub over here on the side. It gives me a chance to write out some bigger picture goals for the month, as well as track a few things like social media and finances of the brand.
not going to plan my week in this video. I typically like to do that a few days before the start of the new week, but I will share a sneak peek of what the default linked weekly looks like in this planner. There are also linked daily pages, but of course there is a template library with more planning page options. One thing I like to do when I first get a new digital planner is to go through and bookmark my favorite pages or pages I know that I will visit often. It makes it really easy for me to just access from the thumbnail view in GoodNotes whenever I need to access it again really quickly. I will share some of my business planning during this planning session. And one thing that I'm targeting in this session is my content on YouTube. So I took a look at my best and worst performers in the last 30 to 60 days, making note of what those were. So when I have time to sit down for another planning session, I can brainstorm content to either keep that momentum going if it was a top performer or see in what ways I can direct traffic to the poor performers or put a different spin on it. It also helps me to see what you all love and what's not vibing with you. Similarly, I made note of what other people's videos that drove people to my channel specifically. Another thing with creating content is just tracking metrics overall. So I'm doing that for Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok, which is a newer platform for me to push content out to. And I'm doing that on this page. So making note of the different metrics I'm using, setting goals, and then writing the actual outcome at the end of the month. On other templates in this planner, I'm able to hash it out further and give more context to why I'm using these metrics and what steps I can take to drive the outcomes that I'm after. So that's all I did during this planning session for the month. During periods like these, it is normally just setting up for next month and kind of just resetting my mind and resetting my digital space for the new month ahead. As always, anything I showed in this video will be linked below in the description. I'll also link my entire playlist of digital planner plan with me's if you want to binge watch my other planning sessions. Thank you so, so much for watching and I hope you have a great August.